Jacob was my only son, a young boy who was diagnosed with a rare, fatal genetic brain disease. He would lose his eyesight, not have the ability to eat, walk, talk, sit up. He would live trapped in his body for his entire life. When you receive that diagnosis, you're so alone, and you just think, how am I going to take care of my child? And that's all you want to do. You just want to take care of him. During a very dark time, there was a light, and it was Blythedale Children's Hospital. This place is such a gift. There's only one of 19 facilities in the entire country, and, and how could it be in our backyard? Even though our journey ended last year when Jacob passed, doesn't mean the journey stops. It means that I have to help other people with their journey. And being a part of Blythedale helps me ensure that I can, I can do that. That's how I keep Jacob's memory alive, and that's how I spread that message for my children. I have two little girls who, thank God, are healthy, and, and I share Blythedale with them. Being here for 20 years, I have seen the evolution of a dynamic place that always was dynamic and always had heart, but now they are on the cusp of novel rehabilitation and research and an assistive technology that is not only speeding up recoveries, but it is enhancing these children's lives. Without philanthropy, assistive technology does not happen. It, it will not advance. We will not be able to provide the switches, the devices, the technology that these children need. It just won't happen. Jacob was known for a smile. He won over many, many hearts. And then he also had the best laugh. Oh my God. It was like, it was guttural. Without being able to speak, this child spoke volumes. He moved the needle for rare disease research, for rehabilitation. Out of the doubt that fills your mind, you finally find you and I collide. I always just wish I could just, you know, close my eyes and go inside and be able to hear him and, and hear his thoughts and be able to really know what he's thinking. So the fact that I couldn't do that, you better damn well be sure I'm gonna do it for other kids. <laughs> so Blythedale, they were the light at the end of our tunnel, and now we can help facilitate that light for other people. You